Here we have the attribute proximity node in geometry nodes of Blender 2.93. How this works is first use an attribute proximity node and then use an object info node to reference your target object. Uh, this has to be a mesh, it can't be an empty. It needs faces, edges, vertices, like that. You can do this sort of thing with empties, but um, this is not the method for that. So plug that into the target input of the attribute proximity node and then create this attribute here. This is what I've called it, dist for short of distance. Plug this into an attribute color ramp. This is how it will look when you first uh, plug it in, but I just inverted these and I'm just controlling that fall off and using that same attribute in both of those. Some things we can do with this is, this is what you're seeing here, we are generating some points and then using the attribute mix node after the fact to add to the original position of those points using our distance as our mask. So take our original position, we're adding point 3 in the Z and we're using attribute the uh, distance attribute as our mask for that. And then instance some geometry on top of that. Another thing we can do is we can plug this directly into, you know, generate some points and then use um, this distance attribute for, you know, the density where we spawn those points. If we look at the original geometry required for this to work, um, we can see that you know, I've I've got a higher resolution plane here, but if we go back and do a limited dissolve and just subdivide this a couple times, um, you know, we can see that you know obviously this is not going to have as much accuracy or smoothness. If we plug this back in, we can also see that it's affecting that too. It's not affecting the points that are generated because we are doing this, you know, before the fact. I haven't figured out how to do. Um, I haven't figured out how to do much with this, but this is what I have figured out. So, um, anyway, we can undo that, add the smoothness back to it. Other tutorials that I've seen have usually used vertex groups and vertex weight proximity nodes. However, that's much um, slower. When I've done this in the past, it's definitely taken a lot longer to com to compute. You know, larger amounts of things. Um, so this geometry nodes is definitely a lot more optimized. But if you figure out, if you know how to do this similar method with empties, let me know. Just put it in the comments. That would be helpful. Um, but until then, this is the method I'll be using to do, you know, have these sorts of effects that I'm looking for. Anyway, hope this is helpful to anyone else. So see ya. Have a good day.